of the things I said very early on to everyone involved is I would pitch to them. I said, I want to create a dogfight in outer space. We've seen in many science fiction movies, you know, the ships flying around, shooting and blowing up and all this stuff. It's not until the ships get so close to you that you realize that, wait a minute, it's actually underwater. The film showed an incredible battle. You know, soldiers on shark back and weapons of major destruction. Throughout making the film, we had to recreate technology that hasn't been invented. In this scene, we've tried to combine ultra-modern weaponry and then still maintain a connection with hand-to-hand -hand combat film, which people love. So this is the Trident world. This is King Atlan's Trident. This is the Holy Grail. But one of the most important bits of design was to have these Atlantean inscriptions on the thing. <laughs> So this is King Arms. It's quite extraordinary. There were certain shapes that we thought, OK, we can honor the original artist of these comics. But it certainly made it our own. The Brian King has a bigger, powerful crustacean kind of weapon. King Nereus' trident is great. It's beautiful. It's very regal. It's a lot of gold. And it shoots, which is kind of cool. For the Atlantean soldiers, we designed these incredibly elaborate guns which fire hydropulse energy. These guns, through some process of fusion, take water and turn it into this source of tremendous energy. It's a very powerful super soaker. <laughs> You know, when it fire, its muzzle flash has a sort of hydro water quality to it. When Work does his power up on his gauntlet, it's pulling in water from the environment. And then when he punches, it releases this <gasps> another form of, of hydro pulse energy. The Atlantean suit, in a lot of ways, works like a reverse astronaut suit. The suit keeps the water inside, keeps the air out. Whenever they left the water, there's a visor that would move up into place. When you're underwater in their natural environment, their visors just sort of dissolve away because they're not necessary. What the? A big part of these scenes, the idea that I can design my own, basically, spaceships underwater while giving each kingdom a very different specific aesthetic. The Zebelian ships have bioluminescent technology. The fishermen people, they have these ships that look very much like ocean life form, you know, like giant sea turtles. Or ships that look like giant whales. Some of them are actually individual side ships for one person. Brine Kingdom. They're actually the real cool part of the battle. So they have like these crab guns and they, they grab up lava. The Atlanteans have very, very high tech, giant, giant ships. Some of the Atlantean ships look like stingrays. I really hope I get an opportunity to do another project in a world where no one's ever seen, because we got to challenge physics. Making this end battle sequence, it was so much fun. And it looks amazing. Ah!